Graham Rawlins with the Friday edition of News Geelong. People of Geelong and surrounding districts are visiting City of Greater Geelong service centres to collect the latest release of Geelong Heritage Cards. The Apollo Bay Musical Festival abounded with the sounds of a galaxy of song and dance in front of thronging crowds last weekend. And later in the program, the flying hawk Nathan Curry brings us the action-packed world of sport and sparkling Lani Salathiel will update us on the week of weather ahead. The Pier Geelong is a beautifully designed, versatile and comfortable venue at the end of Cunningham Pier in Geelong that houses four exciting new hospitality venues and is a striking landmark located right in the heart of Geelong's vibrant and modern waterfront precinct, as Ian Nichols reports. Well, today News Geelong takes us right to the end of Cunningham Pier, that iconic district of Geelong which everybody loves to stroll along and eventually finds four superb restaurants. I'm standing on the upper deck of City Quarter at the moment, but the thing about this place is it's gathering traction. We've had cruise ships pulling in here, it's becoming a mecca for tourists and we know that this particular complex is going to be something to behold. We're lucky the weather's fine today, everything looks great on Corio Bay and today we're talking with the executive chef for this complex, Matt Dempsey. I think it's a fantastic venue, it's very unique for Geelong and it's something that we're all very proud of as uh, a group of uh, staff and the owners have done a brilliant job in converting what was Smorgies on Cunningham Pier into the Pier Geelong. Well, it is. It's a huge makeover. We'd hate to think about how many thousands of dollars have been, or millions perhaps, have been spent here in the makeover, but we do have something of world class, and it's right here with the best views in Victoria. Absolutely. I, don't think you, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better location in Victoria. I think it's absolutely brilliant. You can see on a day like today, no matter where you look, you've got magnificent views and the building itself has been brilliantly fitted out there from the conference room or the function centre through the restaurant, the cafe and the bar. And when I look at this complex, I wonder why we're talking about building a multi-million dollar conference centre when we have one right here at the end of the pier. Well, absolutely. It's a brilliant location. We're really working hard to attract conferences to Geelong. It's uh, a fantastic location close to the, uh, an international airport. We've got great infrastructure to support conferences and I think now we have a custom built venue to actually allow us to facilitate those conferences as well. So I think we've got, got one here in the short term at least and hopefully it will be long term as well. You were 2009 Young Australian Chef of the Year and uh, obviously you'd had a grounding in uh, kitchens before that? Yes, yes. Um, I just fitted into the age bracket so I was under 30s at the time I was 29 so that was a couple of years ago now. So. It was a brilliant experience which created uh, or provided some amazing opportunities to work overseas and I was very lucky. So, Up on the deck of Cunningham Pier, this is Ian Nichols for News Geelong. Thank you, Ian. Heritage is a very important part in the history and culture of a city and Geelong is no exception. Meryl Friend report. Here at the National Wool Museum there's the launch of the latest selection of postcards. Some historic in beautiful sepia and other modern day pictures of our beautiful city of Geelong. And we were able to speak with Councillor Cameron Granger. As part of the, the um, celebrations of the Geelong city becoming a city back in 1910 when there were about 15,000 residents in Geelong. We're uh, now celebrating 100 years of the city um, being around and we now have a population of approximately 200 15,000 so it's come a long way. Uh, the postcards are a collection of some images of Geelong across the journey from 1910 to today so um, they're available to be purchased individually at the National Wool Museum at $1.50 each or there are sets available through the merchandising department at the city so people can get in touch with either City Hall or one of the customer service areas and uh, arrange to get some of those historic um, postcards from there if they so want. And it really is a, a history of Geelong and, and they've got all of the old uh, sepia ones but then they've got some lovely current ones as well. Yeah, there's some classic um, sort of landscapes of Geelong, you know, uh, fields of canola with the yu yangs in the background, um, you know, the bollards, but as you say, some of the older sepia ones. It's actually quite nice to see how the waterfront and some features in Geelong haven't changed a lot in, in 100 years. So, uh, But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a snapshot really of, of Geelong across the, that, that period. And it is a limited edition, so it won't last forever? It won't last forever. The uh, individual um, postcards will be sold until sales 
uh, exhaust the supply. So, uh, and there is a, only a limited uh, run of about 2,000 wallets of the complete set. So, um, get in early, but uh, the best place to buy them is from the, uh, the Wool Museum. Otherwise, Geelong's um, the Geelong City's customer service point. From the National Wool Museum, Meryl Friend. Thank you, Meryl. The Belmont Food Swap at Wine Justice in High Street, Belmont is continuing to make the transition to a resourceful, connected community with a sustainable future, as Ian Nichols reports. Here we are in the heart of the Belmont High Street Shopping Centre at Wine Justice, where the Belmont Food Swap takes place every month. And today, people have bought in their produce and uh, they're mingling with their friends just talking about growing and enjoying the environment. And we're talking with the organiser, Monica Winston. We identified what with climate change and um, the coming shortage of cheap oil, that one of the biggest issues is going to be uh, food security. And in addition to that, it's a lot of fun growing your own food. And it's very satisfying and reconnects us with nature and gives us a healthy crop. So um, a number of us who have been having a go at that, some have been doing it for years and years, uh, and others of us who are newcomers, just decided that we have too much of one thing and not enough of another. So instead of trying to grow everything, we just come down here on a Saturday uh, once a month and swap our excess for something else that we'd like to eat as well. And you are part of the organisation Transition South Barwon. That's right. And that encompasses the whole program. Um, yeah, well, Transition South Bowen is part of a worldwide movement of transition towns and it's been growing exponentially. It started in the UK and it's people who voluntarily transition to a low energy future where they relocalise goods and services and strengthen community to build resilience against, you know, global events. So all this produce that I see here this morning has been brought in by uh, members of the public or more to the point members of your organisation and they in turn swap their uh, excess, is that the way I would put it? That's right, yeah, and anyone can be a part of this. Uh, one lady came before and she didn't have anything and she said, oh that's a shame, I've got about 15 cucumbers in my backyard and I said, oh you're welcome to go home and get them and bring them in. She did and then she walked away with some stuff that she really wanted. So how do you determine what's a fair swap if you like or fair trade? It's up to the integrity of the individual. Yeah. yeah. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, this is our third one. Um, we have one a month and it's on the second Saturday of each month. At the Belmont Food Swap with my $3 pumpkin, this is Ian Nichols for News Geelong. Thank you, Ian. This is News Geelong Friday edition as we go to a break and return with more news after this.